Look at what this chipmunk got. She found herself a full hickory nut. Now she's got to get through this thing. I've been wondering how they do it, the chipmunks. Oh no, she's going to leave with it. I'll never know. I still have a gap on top that I want to fill in. It's looking at me like, don't touch my cabin. So I think it's claimed, but she's not going to like it when it rains unless I do something about the front room. There's, it's just not perfect the way the wood comes together over it. And then that could end up leaking into the whole thing. Granted, there's a nice big space at the bottom for drainage, but for all I know, if the thing isn't level and it tilts the other way, the drainage might be on the wrong side of the cabin. So I also need to drill some holes to get some drainage on the other side. Anyway, this one's looking at me like, don't touch my place. Uh-oh. There's a classic Rover and Pippi moment right there. There's Roves. There's Pips. All right, Pippi. She's so good at getting out of the way. You want a big one? I would have given that to Rover, but being that she just came after you, that's for you now. Oh, now <laughs> look at Pippi. See this, I've talked about this before. This is what squirrels do. And it's so much like kids do on a playground. When they get bullied, they turn right around and it's like they have to pass it along and they, they bully onto somebody else. Maybe not even just kids on a playground. Who knows, maybe they got treated like crap and so they turn around and treat other people like crap. I, you don't know. But anyway, so what I was gonna say before Rover interrupted, where'd she go? She's, she's on her merry way. What I was gonna say, I did this video about how life might be a prison time that we're all serving. If somebody commented, maybe it sounds negative. I didn't mean it to. Like, I mean, it's not fantastic to be serving a prison sentence, but this is a fantastic place to serve a prison sentence. You know what I mean? Earth's amazing. And like, so while we have to find ways to pass the time as best we can while we're on Earth, we also need to cherish the time and, and not waste it not squander it you know it might be a prison sentence but it's one we need to make the best of really make the best of just like martha stewart did i saw an old thing on youtube when she came out of prison and she went on letterman and she had some really positive stories to talk about her time and i thought you know that's the way you do it is no matter where you are no matter how bad whatever is Cherish it somehow if you can. That's my advice. Look at squirrels. I mean, Rags and I always say, can you believe how they bounce back? There's like, you know, stuff that'll just, their lives are in danger all the time. And, and things will go wrong with a hawk and they, they get their life just completely imperiled. And yet they come right back out within sometimes 15 minutes. But they take every minute that they've got and they make use of it. And they're probably smarter than us because it doesn't take much for that. <laughs> so let's look to them. They probably know better what they're doing, what we're all here for. I was just going to change this water and I'm like, okay, who did this? Very funny. Not a hazelnut, a uh, acorn, I think.